any of us being here if we're not chasing after some sort of a dream? A dream you're chasing. Can you imagine it? Huh? Can you picture it? The dream of Cimarron. It fired the imagination of the brave and daring everywhere. And from the four corners of the earth they came to share in the dream that made America great. The rich and the poor. The young and the old. The good and the bad. There were those who came to build, like Jesse Rickey, who brought the printing press and Saul Levy, who parlayed a pack on his back into a mercantile empire. There was Mavis Pegler, a completely unselfish wife, and Felicia Venable, a completely selfish mother. And there were those who came to plunder, like Johnson, the scoundrel, and Yountas, the killer. There were the old timers, like Sam Pegler. And the young and wild ones, like the kid and his sidekick, Wes. The Wyatts started from nothing. I had oil! Oil! It's oil! Oil made Tom Wyatt too rich and too smug. And then there was Dixie Lee. Temptation. Dixie traded a shady past for a bright future. In the language of the Osage, Cimarron means wild and crazy. And that was the way love was for the beautiful Sabra as she gave herself recklessly to the man she loved. Darling, how many times you walked towards me. I looked at you and wanted you. How many times you didn't even look at me, and I wanted you. The man called Cimarron, a man of restless imagination and reckless courage. Wherever things happened, there was Cimarron. One of the most fabulous and exciting action spectacles ever filmed is the Great Land Rush in Cimarron. And yet, it is only an incident in a tremendous picture, spurring the people on to fulfillment of their Cimarron dreams, dreams that gushed oil, transformed prairies into skyscraper cities and pushed a nation to greatness in a sweep of wonderful entertainment warmed with one of the tenderest and most passionate love stories in screen history.